Hey everyone, welcome back to another Food Friday and I'm here at Broth in Cerritos, California. This is my first time trying it and I love Shabu Shabu. I've eaten at so many Shabu Shabu places, but this place is all you can eat, so you know I'm excited for that. And yeah, let's just go ahead and see what they're all about. So like I mentioned, broth is all you can eat and you order your broth and your meat with your waiter at your seat and then they have this bar with all these different toppings. Okay everyone, so here are some of the toppings they have. We have tofu, rice cake, kale noodles, um, konjac noodles, I don't know what these are, clear noodles, ramen, rice noodles, my favorite udon, we have black mushrooms, in yolk, a type of mushroom, king oyster mushroom, cabbage, onion, cilantro, baby corn, broccoli, bean sprouts, chrysanthemum greens, I have no idea what that is, bok choy, napa cabbage, and Chinese spinach. Okay, let's take you to the other side, and there's so much more stuff on this side. Okay, look at this. So we have eggs, you can put it in and do like, um, like crack the eggs inside your like, Broth. <laughs> we have chicken gyoza, sausage, ham, fish cake. I'm gonna get so much fish cake. Emily knows. We just relate to each other. Um, this is a different type of fish cake, but I like this one better. Uh, long fish cake, fish balls. I also love fish balls. Cuttlefish balls, crab balls, um, salmon balls, tofu fish ball. <gasps> quail egg. I love quail egg. We're literally the same person. I love it. Um, I think it's like the fried tofu, baby octopus, baby squid, sort of fish, swipe fish, shrimp, green mussels, vanilla, vanilla quail, and crab. Oh my gosh. Alright, so here there's sauces. So they have their signature house sauce, which we'll try later. Their yuzu sauce, some onion, garlic, mustard, radish, green onion, jalapeno cilantro, the peanut sauce, I love peanut sauce, and then Asian chili sauce. Okay, so if you're a foodie like me, that was heaven. You have so many options here at Broth, so, and there's definitely something for everyone, which is great. All right, so you can see I took advantage of the all you can eat aspect by getting a lot of different sauces, piling my plate up with the different toppings and ingredients I wanted, and we ordered a couple plates of meat. All right, now let's take it away to Vlog Cindy. Okay, everyone, so we have all of our food and everything looks amazing and we're gonna put it in now. So basically everything here is either cooked or it cooks very quickly inside the broth. So all you have to do is put it in there and it cooks and gets all the flavor. We have a tonkatsu broth and a sukiyaki soup. Yum. I'm so excited. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna just give you all a little taste test. I'm gonna use my left hand because I'm vlogging with my right. This is probably gonna end really badly, but. <laughs> ah! No, I got it, I got this, I got this, I got this, okay. All right, so first, I'm gonna take a piece of the ribeye, and then this is, again, the tonkatsu broth, and basically how you're supposed to eat shabu shabu is you kind of like wave the meat inside, let it cook. And then there you go. I like my meat a little like medium rare, but you can cook it to whatever desired temperature. And then you can dip it in a sauce. I have their house sauce, which is like a soy based sauce, and then a peanut sauce, which is so good. All right, let's try it. Mm. The sauce is really nice, sweet, savory. I get a little bit of the peanut sauce, that's my favorite. So smooth, Ooh, so happy. All right, so I tried all three of the meats we got. We got the, the Wagyu Peruvi, which is so fatty and flavorful. That is amazing, lots of flavor. The ribeye is very standard. I feel like that's a classic meat. It's just like, you know, when you go to a Korean barbecue place, you get brisket. It's just very classic. And then, oh my gosh, the flat iron is so tender. It just breaks apart, but there's still bite to it, if that makes sense. But the most flavorful beef would definitely be the karubi because of the fat that's all the flavor right there is in the fat and then now i'm gonna go ahead and add my seafood in and chow down because this is so good all right i'm stuffed i didn't eat to the brink where i can't breathe because i'm about to drive like 45 minutes to get home since i'm far away but like look at this like carnage of like 
seafood, like clams we have left, and our broth is almost gone. And we ate, me and Emily ate four plates of meat and so much seafood and so many udon noodles, and it was really, really good. Honestly, like, I'm not just saying this, but I really think that this is the best shabu shabu place I've had. I really like the sukiyaki broth because I like sweeter broth rather than like super savory. I don't like salt ramen or shoyu ramen. Like, I like sweeter broth, so this is like right up my alley. And then everything was super fresh. The only thing I would say wasn't very good was the mussels. Because I didn't, yeah, I ate one of them and it wasn't really good. But honestly, everything else was really good. The quail eggs, the fish cake, the fish balls, the um, clams. Like, everything was really, really good. The meat, high quality, noodles, great. Just pass on the mussels. But I would give this, I'd give broth a 9 out of 10. So what do you think, Emily? What would you give them? Nine out of ten, bomb. We gotta take our boyfriends here because I bet they're jealous. <laughs> but alright, thank you all so much for watching this week's Food Friday. Don't forget to follow Emily down below, and then I will have all the information to Brock if you ever want to check them out. But I will talk to you all in a future Food Friday. Bye. Mwah.